I should play it again sometime. Well, wow. This has been a long time coming. A long time coming. Interesting to see my frames bouncing back and forth. Really? Huh. Oh well. Where can I move this? Can I move it up here? Well, then I can't see my thing. How about down here? Does that work? I guess that works. Are you really choking out on nothing? Oh well. That's fine. Well, let's see if we can live as a queen. Uh, King Dowager, Duke of Kalor. Okay, we're almost home. Your room's just the way you left it. We're sad. Hard to leave your school and all your friends that arrange the best possible tutors for every subject. You have to work hard this year to prepare yourself before your 15th birthday, coronation. But I know you can do it. You learn quickly, you'll make a wonderful queen. Yeah. Yep. We're 14. It's like, yep, 15, time to be a queen. This is not what mother would have wanted. No. Oh. Sometimes bad things happen, guys. Sometimes bad things happen. All of Nova depends on us, on you. I'll be the crown princess of Nova. Guide you to your coronation, but the decisions you make are ultimately up to you. Oh, we got maids. Nice. I've played before. Yeah, this is all stat tracking. So we're trying to get uh, with a certain person this run through. I've played it before. So, oh man, was it agility? Dance? Flexibility. Okay. It's got some nice music to it. Nice, calming, peaceful music. It befits a queen or crown princess. Whatever we are now. But yeah, I'm testing this out because I know it's a low impact game. I just want to see. But I know my wireless isn't the best right now. Amp my mic up a little bit there. Yeah. So, take it for what it is. Looks like if I'm gonna stream, I'm gonna have to do simple games like this. I'm dropping frames just basically with wireless. I'll test out something later, but right now it's just gonna stay with wireless and PC stuff. Who's here? Oh, my cousins and aunt and uncle. The Countess? I'm assuming the Count of Nyx as well. Oh, Duke of Merva. Never mind. Charlotte. Lady of Merva. Be here all month. Oh, great. What should we do? We'll walk around in the gardens. We'll be lonely but cheerful. Which makes us afraid. Wonderful. Even more wonderful. Oh, I'll kind of move this. There. Not that it matters, but yep. Classes. Oh, no. Oh, what do I need? Reflexes now. Okay, pride of finger used slowly in order to train blocking those touches without triggering fear or faster breathing. Wow. Jump rope for footwork speed. Solo tennis. Hand eye coordination. I'm 
Juliana. Lumen. Ah. Lumen, they are the mages. Oh, I'm gonna be angry at her. She won't. This is more often. Hello, your sister is the Why have you come to school? Oh, mother worries. Yep. We're still afraid. More dance and flexibility. We will dance. Walking on the arm of a partner. Interesting. Circling your arms and making kicking motions that let stretch out your limbs. You have a boyfriend? No. Charlotte, don't move. What's going on? There was a snake. That's not good enough. Oh, now our friend's leaving. So our friends gonna we'll just play with our toys, feel better. Childish, but you feel better, yep. Exactly as I said. Whoa. It doesn't hamper anything, does it? See, any, see anything going down? It's lumen, otherwise everything else is fine. Yeah. Uh, composure. Stay prim, proper, and composed. Okay, practice positive thinking, good self image. Condition yourself to carry on rather than be frustrated. Sit calmly while teacher circles around you and makes unexpected loud noises at random intervals. Quieter with Charlotte, Emery, and Zara, Zahra, and their parents got. Ah! Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, we just gotta play with toys again. That's what we do. This is presents and court matter. Is wearing royal regalia. You are a force to be reckoned with. Couriers. Not appropriate to wear a man's gift in public. People might think it meant something. Well, better not wear it then. Let's do some sports. Feel the thrill of competition. Ah, let's see. Week six. What should we do? Presence and elegance. We gotta maintain our elegance. Intensity of your gaze on and off at will. Woo. 
Styles of breathing to feel more energetic and let the energy surround for others to share. Practice walking along a narrow rail. Cool. I would speak with you. The crystal power. Who will this future domain? It's the Krakens rise again. I guess we can do it. So let's talk to our father to find out about it. It's in a safe place. Do we have it? No. But it's mine! Better leave magic killed your mother. Yeah, magic takes a lot of life force in this. Uh, week seven. Elegant. Presence. Books balance on your head. Hold and sip teacup. Let's see. Strong stance. Imagine you're a tree deeply rooted. Do not be pushed aside. Focus your attention on individuals as you pass and feel a brief connection with you before you formally acknowledge them with a nod. Nice. Step out of the way. Woohoo! Visit Selene. We are not. Uh, uh, I'm unable to perform divination or understand them, apparently. Can't scry either. It's in the treasury. Convince them to stand aside or dispose of them? We got another outfit that's actually going to help. Oh. Well. Yeah, we are. Presence and elegance. Whoa. So wherever environment, seeing everything that transpires around you, you're in control. Because giving demands to the castle staff, neither asking nor demanding, telling them what needs to be done. Only believe it to be true, they will as well. Okay. Shot into the corset and hoop skirt. Perhaps walking with these. It's hard to breathe and twist. The skirt switches out of control if you move too rapidly. Graceful arm distance for every motion from offering a hand for a kiss to taking hold of a banister at the stairs. Properly. You are very proper. As I hear noises in house. So man, he wants funding. We are not interested. Oh, we just flat flat out rejected. Visit the treasury. Stand aside and walk forward with your head held high. None of them dares deny you access to your own treasury. Nice. Uh, court manners and elegance. Wow. No one said any formal event unless you give them permission. No one ever turn your back on you. If they do, recognize the insults. Okay. Try just eating slowly. That's a minimum of mess. Just stand up, sitting down, picking up items from the floor. Bend at the knees, not at the waist. My sympathies. 
Ancient land occupation of our country has gone too long. Push back. Okay, flirting with me? Apparently. The curse is gonna merge with my flesh? Moon crystal power! Or something like that. Is he larger and lighter than you were before? You know where it is. You're a lumen. Oh. Okay, classes, public speaking, and flattery. Let's flatter the public. Tongue twisting sentences of syllables. Okay. And it's important to make eye contact with saying nice things about someone. Okay. No one has prizes they want to give up. Uh, we're going to bluff and intimidate. Demonstrate magical powers. Oh, father's upset that we are a lumen now. Oh, we are magical. You know what? I'm feeling lucky. Let's just get out of the castle. <laughs> I don't like it. Then we're doing public speaking and flattery again. Yep. Deep breaths. Practice speaking loudly and clearly. Okay. Memorize lists and signs them for the teacher and castle staff. Flattering comments have the best impact when short. Come them for the personality and choices and physical attributes. Okay. A key thong, a beast with the body of an enormous golden cat, a sharp beak and spikes on its back. Yikes. Oh man, everyone dies. So we're fairly rich. I think the max is 9,999. So we got money. Oh, yeah, now we got Lumen. Let's work on wielding magic. Oh, we got a 30 right off the bat, huh? So, a small blowing light, which you can, th can then move around independently. Rays of white light banish shadows, blind opponents. Titus of solid light would fly through the air and cut into targets. Round funding. Nope, no hospitals. No hospitals. Go to our mother's tomb. Is the same fate awaiting for us? Well, eventually we're gonna die. Ah, uh, resist magic. That way we won't hurt by magic. Increase awareness of your own thoughts and emotions. Make it more difficult for mind-affecting magic to twist your reactions. Huh. Interesting. 
night risks light and dark see the blackest caves or stare into the sun without going blind perfect let's make sure everything's loading up properly on my chat there yep okay and Mostly project. Measure the field through your thoughts, blocking outside measure for touching your mind. Only the energy to consciously resist. So to have energy to do it. Okay. Stand in judgment. I'm gonna judge a woman uh, been convicted of attempted murder. She admits to trying to poison her sister. Lied to her, they did. When she went to see why she'd not come back. Why he'd not come back. So he'd gone for a soldier when he never would. He weren't the only one, neither. I waited ten years for my chance to get my own back. That's justice. Uh, let's throw her in into prison. You not have me. So we failed, but our guards cut the woman down before she can endanger you. Clean it up. <laughs> yes, I can finally be the princess I always wanted to be. Yep. We are going to go to the tomb again. How's it going, Thunnest? Checking out my drop frames on this, I'm not impressed. Not, this isn't even uh, very highly graphically intensive. <laughs> Such as streaming on wireless, I guess. Week 14. Well, might as well train all the magic stuffs. You're dead. Sorry, because you worked early, didn't you? Learn to feel the magic inside you. Feel the force flow through you! Practice using small muscles of magic and feeling that power outside of yourself. Mentor summons up magical energies to strike the nearby ground so you can learn to sense someone else's spells in use. Ah. What are you doing? A strange sound. Oh. We can't... We aren't uh, able to perform divinations, so. Nope, and then just basic falconry. Not knowing about raptors. Right, let's just oppress ourselves even more. <laughs> are we afraid? We are afraid. You know what? We can't be afraid with a tutu on. Classes. We're going to be flexible and wield magic. Apparently, you can be afraid in a tutu. Try just bouncing motions with your arms and legs. And you kneel with your hands pressed to the floor, then stretch like a cat, rolling your back up and down. Well, why isn't that animated? Oh, yeah, that's right, because she's 14. You can create a wave of discontent which panics or enrages animals in the area. So we're like the land version of Aquaman. Okay. Remember the festival of the good lady is approaching. Public celebrations for the commoners, grand gala for the nobility. We could take part of a procession and give us ceremonial planting and give a speech. 
What do you mean it's not safe? Oh. If anyone means you harm. Bryony. Uh, that's right, because we're going to go after Bryony this, this playthrough. Is it the treasury? We lost like 80 silver last time that we came here, so not, not too bad. Wield magic and sense magic. A bad Aquaman, well, a 14 year old, uh, uh, it's like we have the the heart ring from from Captain Planet, the power of heart. Blade of solid light like a sword, a beam of searing light through the end of a staff, burning whatever you point at. Whoa! It's like my my main character in a uh, uh, Fermentide. Using all that magic staff. Burning everything, including myself, most of the time. Let's see. So we close our eyes, call out to detect your mentor, casting a silent spell. Detect ongoing enchantments such as blessed weapons that can do magical damage. There's a procession and planting for the festival of the good lady. We'll be leading. People recover from your disappointment. If we lose you, there is no recovery. Also, if I die. I will lead the parade. Be the best parade leader ever. My little girl. We are elegant. All of a sudden, Man Black leaps out of the crowd, heading straight for you, and he's holding a sword! You just barely managed to twist out of the way of the assassin's blade. Guards may or may not be able to reach you in time to prevent your attacker's strike. Well, we're gonna blast him with magic. That's what we've trained for. A beam of searing light will smash into your attacker, putting him in his place before he can attack you again. Terrible noise, half screen and then half sizzle. His face is burned beyond all recognition and he's dead. The crowd is staring at you in shock and horror. Then timidly, someone applauds. Soon they're all cheering for your victory, but is it your imagination or does that approval ring hollow? Because magic scares people in this in this world. Sports. Feel the thrill of competition. Yep. I just blasted the guy's face off. Now I'm going to go play sports. Uh, I'm still in the right stuff. Yep. Week 17. Yeah, dance. Just dance. Let, no, agility and sense magic. So maybe maybe instead of Aquaman, that could be Pepsi Man. I think that would be fun. So we practice different partner dance positions, close, at a distance, and non-contact. Perfect hand placements. Practice steps and time to music, quick and slow, turning and weaving. Okay. I'm going to tell the difference between kinds of magical signatures. Tell roughly what a spell you detect is meant to achieve. Whoa. Explain your perception to give you some idea of where a detective spell was cast from and how long ago. Detect the latent power that seems to Lumen even when he or she is not actively working magic. Oh. That'll be useful. No, oh, dare attempt to harm you under this roof, but I doubt that your enemies are. I don't doubt your enemies are here, close and watching. 
The only clue you have about it is just a bunch of lines and squiggles and dashes. Everyone's applauding against you. Don't turn your back. We're kind of cruel right now. Imprisoned people. Killed an assassin in front of everyone. I'm the ruler of everyone. Your eyes rest upon each in turn as you've been taught. You're not a child but a queen. Good. First dance is for the father and daughter. Choose your partner. Someone younger. Wow. Yeah, that, that that's definitely Crail Robin right there. Too well bred to refuse you. He's terrified. Having to dance. Don't step on him. Simple enough to move through the motions without mishap. Good. Interact comfortably with peers. Good. Bang and do Marie Tess elegant figure that's a wine glass. Offer our compliments to our lovely hostess. Her words of wisdom guide us through difficulty. Young lady of Sudbury. What more did you do to finally inherit control of her dookie soon? Duchess of Lila. A fierce sportswoman. Oh, Adele. She was ahead of you at the school in absolute terror of the ball fields. No Bryony, her parents were leaving her stuck at school this season. Oh. Shouldn't our cousins be here? Aunt and uncle are here. So there's itching at our sense. There's something familiar. Aunt Lucille is a lumen. Well, let's talk to her about it. Oh. May I speak to you privately? You're a lumen. She can black out sound with her crystal. And that's all. People are afraid and fearful. Distrust. You're my new Lumen Minister. Train with me, we'll become strong. Good. Good, good, good. And of course, after a grand gala, we're gonna just play with toys. I wouldn't say that was a failure. No, but. Let's see, outfit, back to our coronet, we'll wear that when we get, uh, yeah, we got our coronation. We become queen, we inherit the throne. Composure and sense magic. I missed something somewhere. Let's see. So, expand your senses, learn to detect spells and magical creatures at a greater distance, detect lunar traces of strong measure from the past, even when the spell is long since completed. Okay. Composure's low. Oh. Someone's hanging out with Father. Cut someone. Before we take a deep breath.
Good day to you. Don't give me that look. She's a nice woman, nothing more. A nice woman for you to love and touch and, and squeeze in. I mean, uh, yeah. She's very nice. Better not happen any, anytime soon. Papa. Hey, look, find out who's behind the attempt on your life. There may be further attempts. Let's go to court. It's not fun, but please, your father. It may be important in the future. Just in case I miss something. If I fail something in speaking. Close your eyes, relax every muscle of your body in turn. And that feeling travel down from your head to your fingertips and toes. Okay. Slow deep breaths in the air move through your body, giving you feel it giving you life and energy. I don't know anything about budgets. So let's raise taxes. We need more money. And we'll play with toys as we are a child. We need some divination time. That sounds fine. Guys, can I be forced to divulge information about the future? The most powerful omens are those which arrive unexpectedly. Okay. Dropping your favorite plate's bad luck. Statue spontaneously shattering is a bad omen. Wells turning sour, dry lightning, strange fish caught in nets, malformed babies being born, and so on are well known signs of bad fortune. Me kill the wife. I think I'm gonna set you free. Demons made me do it. Demons. This man is a lumen. Question him about his crystal. The so demons made to kill your wife, not your own. So you know what I am. Die. Are we dead? Wow. People want to kill us left and right. Apparently I'm a bad princess slash crown, you know, crown princess slash future queen. So, let's do the appropriate thing and just be a kid and play with toys. Now we're lonely. Now we're afraid still. Next we'll be lonely. The magical history. Okay, let's do that. Only a looming and channel magic with a tune crystal. Then we pass from parent to child upon the parent's death. So kings and queens of Nov have all been lumens for centuries. Modern times it's only used for ceremonial occasions and the direst of emergencies. Caught in a boreas was ruled over by a single witch king until a rival line of lumens challenged for the crown. The war went on for hundred years, but for supposed to damage land so badly even now no plants will grow. Nice. There's a letter here. A poem, you what with a squid? Better ignore it. I 
I've, I've seen enough hentai to know where that was going. Uh, let's get some money. Ah, 12,994. Ah, we're rich. Now we're lonely. Yeah, those are sad, lonely eyes. Need battlefield medicine and poison this week. Wounds you might want to be washed as soon as possible from dirt from growing under the skin and causing infection. First treatment for most interested poisons is to purge the stomach, forcing the victim to eat powdered charcoal, which can absorb dangerous substances. Ah. Okay. Uh, Fabian, the Earl of Titan and Duke Regent of Elath, has passed away. He's old. So what do we do with... Oh. The young lord of his 15th birthday over two years. He requires a regent. Who should take care of him? To be or not to be, that is the question. Whether it is nobler... I mean, you know... No, this is not Hamlet. It's also... <laughs> it's also not Oedipus. It's also not reverse or inverse Oedipus, because we didn't kill our mom and sleep with our father, yeah. Never mind. Let's just keep going. Where should we keep him? Uh, to our uncle, I think. Oh, yeah. Our uncle is... Yeah. So for the slings and arrows of outrageous misfortune. Yeah. Visit the dungeons. We need more battlefield medicine and poison because we're going to do some stupid stuff in the future, I think. Blood loss, waste, life, energy, bleeding should be stopped through bandages, pressure, and elevation. Minor burns should be cooled, washed, and gently wrapped to keep them clean like a cut, but... Major burns and scholars such as boiling oil are untreatable on the battlefield. Unless you know somebody that knows how to do skin grafts. Right there. Certain poisons counteract each other such that either on their own will kill the victim, but carefully applying a match on the other will cure. If a victim is stabbed with poison, spine of a sea urchin, the spine must be removed carefully and the affected area is soaked in very hot water in order to cook out the poison. That's right. Because you have to, if you ever want to eat sea urchin, it has to be cooked very, very properly. If you don't cook it, it's like it looks. It's like you can cook it in a short amount of time. It looks just fine like any other seafood, but you gotta like double it up or something. Is what I remember. This is like, look like overcooked for it to be safe. Musician wishes the crown patronage its money, Sabine. Send me as a member of your court, I'll immortalize you in word and song. Did she write that filthy poem? She probably did. No. We don't need her. Sulk, skulk through the dungeons, nothing happens, nothing changes. Oh, I need a biology. Willow bark can be used to relieve aches and fever. Here, if you can use tension and headaches, oil of clothes on the skin can relieve pain, especially in teeth. Enjoy yourself with the Uncle Armand. Trees are different, there's a lot more frogs. Okay. 
What shall we do? Go to the dungeons yet again. Don't want to change our, our mood yet. We need no more herbology. Sage uh, keeps me from spoiling. Age digestion improves thinking and may even bring color back to gray hair. My uncle could have used a lot more sage in his diet then. Calendula flowers can be used in soothing teas as well as skin lotion. Provides a vision of one's secret enemies if worn under the light of a full moon. Count free house men, broken bones, and slightly poisonous in large amounts should not be eaten. Product leaves used as a poultice to draw out infection. The roots can be used to flavor a kind of beer, and the stalks can be eaten. Well, damn, let's get some burdock beer. Burdock root beer. A falling star, pretty. Yeah, that's probably a bad sign. Let's go to the ball. So flattery. And running. Oh no. User! Thanks for that host! <clears throat> Haven't heard that for a while. Should probably load that up on onto uh, Spotify. Anyways. If you're here, user, how you doing? If that was not a host, I didn't see it. And thank you anyways. Let's see, visual elements are best to flatter on the first meeting. They're expected to be noticed right away. If you spent more time with someone suddenly come up with them and their attire will ring false. Good to know. Small personal details help make the recipient of your flattery feel that you truly notice them. Which is better than a simple how nice you look. Okay. Press walking at a brisk but comfortable pace for a set length of time every day for the week. It's a beautiful day. Go to the tomb again. But we're still happy. Our mom's, we went to our mom's tomb. We're still happy. Run, run, run. Back and forth between brisk walk and light bouncing jog. Not too fast. Build endurance rather than speed. Increase portion time you spend jogging and shorter breaks of walking to recharge your energy. Jog solidly for longer stretches of time and learn how much food and water you need before and after in order to keep your body going. Letters. Wow, the party. Divination. What? What was it? What was it? What was, it, what was there to get from that? Well, let's have a good party. Go to the tomb yet again. And we are afraid. Where should we switch to? Well, there's Sailor Moon. There, that's 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 better. Uh, flattery and lore.
So people always believe they're successful and well liked more than they want to believe that they are handsome. Play to these beliefs, and be inclined to enjoy your company. Certain class of dramatic personality believes utterly that they are ugly and unpopular, even if untrue. Compliment their intelligence. This tends to be their weakness. Okay. Yaveni on the back of tentacled monsters. Wow. Run the valley immediately laying waste all in their path. Only helps to put an aluminum raise a great flood to drown them. Okay. The domain of Malini was once a single island instead of a cluster till Novan Queen raised a terrible pillar of fire that shattered the land into pieces. And the height of the Novan Empire, all the dukes and duchesses were lumens. They conquered their enemies with beams of light and terrible summoned monsters. But they eventually broke loose, killed their captors, destroyed the old capital. Oops. The party is lovely. Save slot four. Good job. Sounds about right. What's that about magic? Mother has my domain now. Just because you're of age doesn't mean you get you know everything. You need advice. So we gotta flatter them both. Sorry about your mom. I wonder if you're gonna be queen. They have the opportunities you have. You're so lucky. Have they told you all the secrets? I gotta get into the old palace. Nobody ever goes there because the forest is supposed to be haunted. It's just full of monsters. It's not haunted. Let's help her out. Don't know if she's about getting the old palace yet. Supposed to go back to school, but I was already planning to sneak off. This could be fun. Deck and lumen and you win, they leave behind a crystal. Can you make it stronger? No. Living wielder chooses to join its power to another. Guard it or hide it, give it to the hands of others to wield. The last hold of the crystal is an enemy, the resonance of the crystal will work against you. A weak willed candidate might be acceptable to the crystal and yet still be controllable. Steer that lumen away from dangerous paths, make an ally, and change the crystal's resonance. But it requires your complete attention. Crystals was the treasure of the. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to a, te a temple to guard. One of the temple guards may inhabit the trees! Passed into the keeping of a priest trained in scrying. Well, do another quick save. Five, four, and five are the two I have to do. Uh, intrigue. We just cipher all the way through. Okay. Just 
too afraid to focus properly. Ciphering. Practice reading words as letters have been arranged in reverse order. But you know when literate can puzzle through if they try. But sometimes you should hide information in plain sight. A bunch of maps. The monster's are really nasty down there. Find anyone who's gone an old forest come back. If it is full of treasure, would you want to tell anyone how you got it and stole some? I know it's dangerous, so not stupid, but you and I are educated noble women, not peasants. I'll go with sword and a bow and don't you have magic powers now that you're queen? Come with me. It'll be an adventure. What an adventure, Charlie! I ask about her parents. They say still, and they still say I have to be at school all the time. I should be spending time in Mead. I wouldn't, I wouldn't object to spending some time drinking some Mead right now either. Oh, uh, uh, what? When did your uncle move in? A few years ago. Yeah, I'm sure. So what? That was years ago. Plenty of time to get over it. Pay attention to me. If I find the lost treasure, they have to. If I run away from school, they don't notice that. They won't notice anything. You mean it's hopeless? Stay here and wait. Getting into more trouble won't make a difference. You're smarter than I remembered. That's a nice backhanded compliment. <laughs> you failed. It's it's the ultimate uh, stat tracking game. It's essentially Excel spreadsheets put into a choose your own adventure. More ciphering. And we're gonna go through this all a second time after a couple days of this. We're too cheerful to pro focus properly on this subject. Practice shifting. Substitution ciphers. Okay, and pie becomes. <laughs> Fiddles. I have, I have d two dessert choices for you. There's. Fundizu. Which one do you want? Where's your daughter? <laughs> Certain things you don't understand. You don't tell me anything, so I can't understand. Sneak out, sneak out. Ciphering. Yet again. Press random substitution ciphers, or they don't often specify one in jumbled order. How do they code? But some people need a written substitution chart to read or write it. I mean, come on, Thunnest, I mean, everybody knows that I'm just a failure, right? I mean, uh, never mind that. Complex positions, transposition ciphers, which is written down columns or lines, then reorganized into scrambled words. They're encoded and a plain text co written copy is this, which can be insecure. Okay. Right, A, encode your ciphers, that is, what's words for others, such as handle for Duke. Or changing the letters in the message. Save another slot. Oh, the 
title screen. Been sent flowers by a woman, transformed into a lumen, died at least once, been crowned queen, held a random held a hostage to ransom. Challenge to duel, found a spare crystal. Achieved ill victory, forced someone else to get married, hired a lumen minister. about to keep watching. Got to load that up still. Oh. There. Now I see where that. Title screen. Now I know the the secret. And there, I achieved something there. Discovered a terrible family secret. Yep. Gasp. Running with horses. This one? Yeah. I'm still priestess robing it. Okay? Okay. Running and horses. Proper technique and clothing for running different kinds of weather to avoid frostbite, overheating, or disease. Walk around the stables, meet royal horses, learn about their breeds and names for different parts of their anatomy. I hope that wasn't a full, full anatomy lesson. Found a bunch of maps, yep. Yeah, nasty stuff. Skip ahead, we've seen this. We succeeded! I'm a success! Go with Bryony. No one will notice. There's no guard. There isn't any need for one. Caloris is soaked in lore until the stain is permanent. Even an illiterate fisher child knows better. But you're young and innocent, brave and strong. True heroes. This isn't so bad. It's kind of dark. Just because there's so much moss on the trees, it's pretty, like lace curtains. It's quiet. Well, the secret hideaway here. It's not too dark when the willow wisps are on. Little sparkly lights, don't you think? Oh, we're sensing stuff. She's pinned against a tree. Eyes bulging wide, her fingernails clawing at the thick black record of ribbons wrapped around her body and mouth. Let her go. Hard to blast, find a spot to blast that won't harm Bryony more than the monster. Slide off your horse, grab a handful of stinging nettles, not even feeling the pain, and rub them against the black tentacles. Hear tearing sound and the monster's ropey arms convulse, allowing Bryony to fall to the forest floor. Unfortunately, the horses now free of their riders, bolt and leave you alone with the angry tentacled thing. I have seen enough hentai to know where this is going, guys. Run! Oh, <laughs> ten afraid. Grabbing your hand, you tear through the brush, hanging back, thrashing the key best you can. The murk of the forest seems to close around you, and it's difficult to tell where you're going. How far is safe? Where are the horses? Suddenly, Bryony stumbles, her ankle twisting underneath her. Despite her flayed demeanor, she's not a complete idiot. She keeps, she gets back up and keeps moving, but she's limping now, clearly slower. We'll support her. Puts her arm around your shoulders while you grab hold of her waist. Both of you have experienced dance with partners, and this isn't so different. Take out these struggle through the forest till you find your horses again. 
There's no time for any extra activities. Whoops. We'll learn more about horses for next time then. Learn about caring for horses, grooming, and keeping hooves free of stone. How different pieces go into saddles and bridles, how to check for signs of wear, how to equip and adjust them on a horse. Of course, of course. What happened to you? Your clothes, your skin. This nasty thing with tentacles and it sort of grabbed me and... Can I show you on the doll where it touched me? You was the old forest, what were you thinking? You could have been killed. Elodie rescued me. You were there with her? Why didn't you talk her out of this? I kept her safe, didn't I? She's a hero, mother. There's no such thing. Only fools risking their lives for no good reason. Come on, young lady. We're going home. Yes, mother. Well, what would have happened to Nova if you had died? You cannot act on your every whim. Your mother gave her life for the domain. How can you disrespect her memory like this? Fine, I'm sorry. <laughs> He's only like you because he loves you and is afraid for you, but it doesn't lessen the sting. Of course not. Let's walk in the gardens. You know, we didn't get enough nature before. Let's finish up horses. 50 will max it out. Learn how to mount and dismount a horse, first with the boost and then from the ground. I'll handle the reins and guide a horse around the field. Then you now hunt on the weekends. Skilled horses is 50. You may not increase until all their animal handling are 25 or higher. These are maxed out on it, probably. Oh, an omen of war and danger. Do some sports. Sports! Oh. oh! Economics trade. Then the smallest of individuals has a central market where locals can trade what they have grown or made with others who have different skills. Yep. Individual peddlers travel between villages and cities, some on foot with pack and mules. Others, horses and wagons. Uh, sometimes different wagons group together to form a caravan. We got ourselves a convoy. Who's Rover Duck? There was an edge. It's something cheerful. We need a tournament. What a good idea. What should we offer? We'll offer employment. Ah, sports. Oh, skills. Oh, my. Because that's just faith. I don't think there's any faith worries in this. I better save just to make sure. Well, if we're gonna go into the depths of the the forest, we better be able to wield magic more. By concentrating, you create a wave of discontent which panics, panics, confuses, or enrages other people around you. More than just the animals. Shape light into images of things that are far away or things that don't exist at all. Beware the Jabberwocky! Uh, you learn to create a powerful explosion of light, burning those caught within and blinding others who look at it, and you learn how to make image use of images to wield you your other powers at a great distance. We can zap people at a great distance now. 
You will be pleased if you participate. However, it will expose you to danger. Just do part of the mounted parade. Take a walk in the gardens. Let's keep our cheerfulness up. And now we gotta resist magic. That's our final one, isn't it? I don't know if it'll level us up all the way with this, but that's the last one we need to max out. Constantly protect a magical shield around your body, blocking intrusion. It's powerful, but can't keep it up for long. Increased resistance, got heat, cold, comfortable in different weather and environments, and able to sip hot soup without burning your tongue. Hopefully that goes for coffee and pizza as well. Play magical shields around you to deflect incoming attacks. Much less energy than a constant shield requires good timing. Yeah, we're essentially uh, uh, a, a sailor scout now. I know I maintain a low level deflection field. Magical shields will not be targeted at. not targeted directly at you, will slide harmlessly aside. Doesn't need much power, so you can keep it up for long periods of time. Uh, you have to counter offensive magic with your own power so you can burn out a spell that someone else has cast. Very dangerous to the other person. The other spell is too powerful, though. Uh, sisters have been sighted. This is a war fleet. So we will be in the waters. Uh, we're going to recruit soldiers. Uh, we're going to direct the fleet. A fleet from Sanja. Shanjia. Saloon with much strength. Requires great force overpower that protection and destroy the entire fleet without endangering Nova. Three to four looms acting in concert. If you truly will it, you can give up control of your power to another for a time. The cost for such power can be high. All involved may perish. You and me and Aunt Lucille, is that enough? Are you willing to take the risk? Yes. That's a, that's a pretty serious uh, tone change in the music, by the way. I feel less afraid, but a bit more sad. Uh, resist magic and trade. Innate resistance to mind affecting magic. You understand the power, the flow of power gives you increased resistance to damage caused by magic. Even without a shield, you can still be hurt by less than an ordinary human would be. So essentially we're a freaking magic tank. Because of our magic, we're a magic tank. Most important trade route is the Kavala River. So that's probably got to know that to keep supplied in time of war, keep that river safe. Danger on the high seas! You and your two fellow Lumens join hands to focus your powers. Your magical training has paid off to allow you to stage this attempt at a safe distance from the invading vessels of war. Far in the distance, you hear the roar of the ocean you have charmed as it buckles beneath the incoming ships, opening up a maw of void into which they tumble helplessly. Then, as they fall, the water rushes back in around them, washing over decks and pummeling hulls. Even so, from far away, you can see the disturbance you have made rippling through the water. Some of the Sanjians may survive, but their threat as an invasion has ended. Boom. 
if you fail that, you have to fight a person. I've streamed this before, I think. And if you don't have any Lumen powers, you're going to lose. Because he's a Lumen, a powerful Lumen, as they said. So after war, let's just take a walk in the gardens. Because, you know, that's what you do after war. Uh, decoration and trade again? Yeah. Discuss the nature of beauty. Looking around at landscapes, objects, and people, and comparing their aesthetic elements. What would you say about your own uh, dress right now, LED? Much of the domain's trade comes in from the Western Ocean. The capital city in your castle will look at an island near the mouth of the Kavala River where it meets the sea. That makes this the most important location for trade. Magical storms you summon created giant waves which swept inland as well as out. Damage is reported from along the shoreline from Mazomba down to Northern Marie. Beaches are covered with rack of the bodies of animals and many fishers and cocklers are missing. Are you blaming me? Of course not. Many more lives would have been lost if the fleet had landed. Worries me that these reports are increasing even long after the events of the battle. An observatory in Caloris has been seen sa strange shapes in the sea to the west. It's only worse than a simple storm may have been unleashed. It's the Kraken. I'm assuming. They say something about Kraken in the lore earlier. More decoration. We're going to be very decorative. Sketch fruits and flowers with charcoal on parchment. Theory of color, how they complement and contrast, how to select colors to emphasize a mood. My fear has been realized a kraken has risen. An enormous tentacled sea monster which can dive and surface at will. Fast, voracious, voracious, and apparently unkillable. Any ship that ventures into its range is at risk. Let's go to destroy Nova's shipping. What are you doing here? You can bring the records of the circle so that you would know what you face. Let the lonely beast will feed until the seas run red, and only then will it sleep. Hundreds of thousands of lives. Lumen spell weaving can freeze a kraken in its tracks, holding it motionless, but only for a short time. If it's renewed every moon, giving the beast no time between castings to move freely, it should eventually sleep. Seven years! If at any point the spell's cast is too weak or is not renewed in time, it would break loose. They can be driven out by sacrifice. Life force of a lumen, potential lumen on the cusp of adulthood would be the ideal choice. Even without her mother's crystal shoes would still have been a potential lumen, keeping her ignorant would not have kept her safe. Could never hurt my favorite cousin. We gotta seal it. Well, let's attend court because, you know, I have to be ready to take care of stuff. What do I want to work on now? What has boosts? Faith has boosts. Conversation has boosts. Yeah, let's do some more divination lore. So 
So read about signs that presage famous disasters. Seas running red before the doom shadow fell upon Nova 200 years ago. King Latimer, how he knew he was destined for greatness when he saw the shape of a crown and a spider's web. Adam Ullman, particular flights of birds. You have to get this 60 in divination before you can... Wow. Learn about the signs which sometimes appear in grounds or leaves at the bottom of the cup. Good day to you. Hope all is well. Hi, Letty. To find it before you can enchant it. Let's get everyone that says some bread and sausage and a bit of cake. They can have their cake and eat it too. Hi, Charlotte. What's the matter? Molly's been telling me about Lumen. She wants me to learn about magic so I can be one when I'm older. Yes. We'll both be around a long time. We actually we'll have a spare one too that we could give to her and. I think she listened to all of us, even though they said that that would be dangerous because, yeah, whatever. Let's learn more about lore. Great forest covered Nova, wiped out all life in the domain, the sacrifice of the queen, and a couple of lumens to defeat that doom. Well, the Duke of Ursula refused to join the defense and therefore survived. The little short left the curse from an enchanted spring whose water was poisonous and glowed green. After she dispelled the magic, she tasted the water and felt dead. Green glow is not a curse, but a spell placed by Lumen long before to warn everyone away from the spring's natural poison. Lumen will release surrender their control, the magic to another. Saw the Novan Empire came to dominate the world, the growing force of Lumen's focus on a single ruler. Look at that king or queen immense power. So don't believe that. Magical power attracts danger. After the Doom Channel was banished, the crystals of the fallen dudes and duchesses were destroyed. Only the crown and the duchy of Ursul remained active lumens. And now us. Yay! Whom will we marry? Yeah, I don't care about these. At least you all have to understand the concept of romance. Some people think you ought to marry Gwinnell's half-brother ends yet. Who hasn't even turned nine yet? Wow. Minor or else at the age of 20, it might be passable alternatives. Just had to ignore and marry a commoner. If you're prepared to deal with uproar. Apparently saving from a monster is the most romantic thing that's happened in her entire life. Yeah, we're gonna marry Bryony. So with that, let's play with our toys because we're gonna become queen soon. Uh, let's finish our divination. Interpretation of dreams with warnings that dreams are easily forgotten, misremembered, or warped by thoughts and desires rather than true vision. Study the stars and learn about the omens they hold with warnings that the stars are seen by all and their portents may not be meant for you. Priestesses have gone, have other ways of requesting almost from the gods, but they won't share them with someone not initiated into the mysteries. Okay. Didn't ask much of your princess then. Because you were children. But then, you know, it was the last time you ever saw your mother. You wonder if she can see you now. You're 15, a legal adult. The time has come for our coronation. You guide and govern and protect your people to the best of your ability according to law and custom. The Queen! He 
Jewel Nova, I give you Elodie, daughter of Fidelia, your true sovereign. I want to see you all. Long live the queen! We survived! Yay. This is daughter of security on the throne. First birthplace to focus on his duties. Pursued by many women, but showed little interest in remarrying. She wasn't able to activate the crystal's power. The young queen pointed out that the crazy murder would obviously have a very different resonance than her favorite cousin. She would have to wait to inherit her mother's magic. Oh, okay. In the middle of the others, heresy, fed for it. Oh, yeah. Set the condition. Reinforce the seals. Tentacled Beast from the Deep was just more of the same. Pirates from Orcus set up the raids in the air, hoping to take Elodie hostage and ransom her for a fortune. Forced her to engage in an even larger naval escort. Novan economy struggle under the burden. Lady in waiting. Lady of the Royal Bedchamber. Very public flirtation complete with moonlit serenades under balconies and the ritual slaying of imaginary dragons. Both women did marry in time, but they never give up their affection for each other. Done. Transform to Lumen. Survive the old forest. Hired a little minister. Encountered a tentacle monster. Sunk a fleet with magic. Blessed by the favor of cats. Romance a commoner. Summoned a creeping shade. Discovered who killed your mother. Ordered human sacrifice. Faced a rebellion in Merva. Hired a spy. Triggered an earthquake. Recruited an advisor, imprisoned your uncle, made Charlotte a lumen, poisoned a chicken, kissed your fiance. It's a hell of a checklist. Died in eleven different ways. Broke off an engagement. So far I've just been poisoned. I can take an arrow to the gut. I know how to let my blood run dry. I know how to choke on magical chains. I haven't drowned at sea yet. Cracked my skull, I think I've done that. Had my life drained, I think that's possible. I don't think I've fallen victim to monsters unless that was part of another one. I've been blasted by magic. Didn't blow myself up. I have gotten too close to a sword though. Just not in this version. Load up the Steam version. Let's try to do this on GOG since this was installed. Well, that's 